I'll be the judge. So, I just went into the Ingles over there, and I got, well, I was looking for saltines. They didn't have any. However, they had salty cookies, also known as Las Galletas Saltines, originales. Arrived, and there's a Porsche. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. It's very early in the morning. I already drove about 30 minutes to the meeting point in Highlands, North Carolina. It's pouring rain. We're hoping there's still a good turnout. The roads were still fun this morning. We at least get to test out the brakes and our tires in wet conditions. So there's, there's gonna be some good points to this or a purpose to this drive nonetheless. We have a Mini Cooper. We had a good driver's meeting. <clears throat> Dennis Gage is here for my classic car. Um, pretty cool. Hopefully we get, he sat near us at breakfast. Um, maybe we'll get a chance to meet him a little later on. Despite the turnout. We despite, got hats. We got hats. Despite the turnout. God, <laughs> again, despite the rain, we have a pretty good turnout. Several Porsches, uh, several Ferraris. A few Corvettes, a really nice GT500. It's gonna be a good one. escape fully in front of us they have union jack stickers and an extra mirror so they're they legit say right yeah, that's well, because of the rain a few people chose not to join us our lead car is a Porsche sorry I don't know what trim or year but it's newer it's white and it's pretty fancy uh, then we got a, a couple of Ferraris a couple Porsches in front of us in this beautiful white Ford Escape and then a couple of Porsches and a Volkswagen wagon behind us
myself, I can pretty much feel every single modification we've done to the car. Tires are actually performing really, really well in the water. The, the roads are super damp and, you know, we're not pushing the car super hard, but we're not losing grip or traction at all. They feel great. We're not, I'm not really feeling any tire roll, so I think the sidewalls are perfect. I think we have them aired to the right PSI. God, that's awesome, too. Um, brakes are doing really well. We're having to um, hit them pretty hard sometimes with this escape in front of us. I want to get in front of them so we can trail the Ferrari. I think that's that's more our class, you know, the Infiniti Q50 and the Ferrari. It's a little closer to the same car. Uh, um, I can't really feel the strut tower brace. I'm guessing the chassis is a little bit stiffer because of it, but uh, sway bars would help um, quite a bit, but we're not, again, I'm not feeling out of control with the car at all. The springs have done a great job to lower the center of gravity, and the car feels really, really stable in these tight uh, corners, especially on switchbacks where we get down into second gear and really rev through the corners. The car is a lot of fun to drive right now, um, and the exhaust sounds beautiful. Would you not agree? No, I agree on that. Good. We're on our first rest stop. Oh, this is pretty sick. Everybody parking. Eight. Lead car. Oh, GT350, sorry. Oh boy. Jaguar made it. What does direction say on clean drive circuit? It was pouring down rain. The guy told me it's his daily driver. All wheel drive, 650 horse. Plenty of brakes. You're welcome to get in in the day. Here's the slow Jaguar. I messed everything up for everyone. Made it to the launch destination. Right now we're at our lunch break and we're at Topoco Tavern. And we're gonna get burgers. Easily the youngest person here by at least one decade, most likely three decades. Alright, let's murder this thing. car driver. Family of Ferraris. Well, they probably do. <laughs> I don't think that's on our way home. <laughs> I 
man, the old Q. Running pretty decent, dirty. One of the biggest modifications I'm noticing on this trip is the paddle shifters. Seriously, not having to take your hands off the steering wheel going through these roads is essential. Behind a good lineup of cars. Just to give you a little idea of where we are, we just passed uh, Deal's Gap, so the opening of Tale of the Dragon. And we're not on that road, unfortunately, but we're heading back more into North Carolina rather than into Tennessee. Cars handling pretty well still in damp conditions. And it sounds good. And we've had lots of compliments today. Compliments from Porsche guys.
Highlands, North Carolina. Cool. We just rolled back into the park in Highlands. Everyone from group one is pulling back in to finish off the day. We ended up being at like 175 miles total, something like that. We still have like a two hour drive through the mountains back home. So I don't know that we're gonna stick around for the parade, but we may get some additional footage. So if you stick around and you see more, you're welcome. If you don't see any more, sorry. Pretty wore out. I don't think we're gonna stick around for Dennis Gage. Uh, gotta get the car is trashed that was a long one guys a lot of fun we ended up finding the weak spot with the braking system a lot of people have mentioned in the past and if you're familiar with the q50s the rotors we started to get a little shimmy on hard braking uh, toward the end there but we'll get those swapped out um, and upgraded soon enough but i think the pads worked out really well i'm a pretty big fan of them uh, we really rode the car um, pretty hard uh, pretty hard for a stock uh, brake rotor, I would say, for about 175 miles or so, um, two days in a row. So it's really, I can't complain too much. Um, but again, just started to feel a slight little shimmy there at the end if you're braking from like 60 miles an hour, trying to bring it down quick, down to 20 or 30. Um, so it's got to be a, a rotor, rotor getting too hot or heating unevenly so we we're gonna get those swapped out anyway so no big deal uh, but we're home cutting it short thank you very much for watching see you next time